are. This is day one, the very start of the Telegraph Track. We cannot wait to get a start on it. Let's go. Let go your inhibitions. You're off on an adventure. Come share the Aussie spirit too. It's your land, your Australia. Come see Australia's wild side with off road adventures like you. Off road adventures. Off road adventures. From desert stones to marshy bogs. everyone so we finally hit the telegraph track um, feel free to stop and take some photos of the sign as we head past let's go all right so this is the first crossing that we've just come up to this crossing is called Palm Creek crossing now last year we had to take the different tracks so the one that we're going to take today is actually really dangerous last year and we couldn't cross it so hopefully we're all good and we make it through all in one go <laughs> that was awesome, wasn't as bad as what I thought, it looked a lot worse from the outside. <laughs> when you feel it spin, just back off. That's it. Right hand down a little bit. Left hand down. I drove up here last year there is so much of a weight difference there's so much weight that holds this thing back because it's such a big and heavy car but we made it through we got the winches out and boy it felt good <laughs> Just 
Just remember the trailer. How'd that feel? Good. Shit yourself. Yeah, I'm on the bunker, buddy. Okay, that'll do, no more. Careful. So we just did Palm Creek. I'm absolutely covered in dirt. <laughs> That's okay, because it's half of the fun. We had to get the winches out on pretty well three out of the four cars. A lot of the cars that we've got on this trip have a fair bit of weight in them so it's a lot easier and a lot less stress on our vehicles to be able to winch out of them. So the next crossing that we have coming up is Juicy. Um, I think last year I said hopefully it's not too juicy. This year it's very dry up here so I'm sure there's not going to be much water in that one at all. Hang on, back her back. Keep it going. Get up it. Just watch the hole in the left. Creek. Now last year when we crossed through that one there was a fair bit of water so usually you're not too sure what you're expecting when you get to the other end but uh, this year she's as dry as a bone and she was a little bit tougher to get through. It's not Alice. Oh, she's a sharp one here. Nice and So this one here we've come to is the North Alice Crossing. Now when you 
get to the edge here it's quite a steep drop so just drop your cars over really nice and easy so we don't scratch anything nice and slow yeah nice and slow keep it going Yep, go down. She's gonna drop over now. Keep it going slow. She's down. Anderson plugs out as well. So just go slow, slow. Keep it going. Woo! That's it, slow, slow. Gonna go over now. Done. It's done. South Alice? North. North Alice. I keep thinking it's south. So we've just done South Alice Crossing. North Alice. <sighs> so we've just done North Alice. Um, that crossing there, as I explained just before we crossed over, it has got quite a little drop, so you just want an easy car over it. Um, now we're heading off to the Del Hunty where we're going to set up camp and go for a nice swim in the fresh water. I can't wait and I'm going to have a cold beer. Yeah. Alrighty, this morning we crossed the Del Hunty. Um, it's pretty easy crossing, it's really nice and shallow, so we're on our way to the next crossing. is Birdie Creek Crossing. We've got to go and make sure we where we are going to cross today. Let's go and have a look and see if we can judge this one correct this time. Right, we've come down and check out the crossing. As you can see just ahead of me here, we've got a big hole here. 
One over here to my left and another one over here. We're going to put a spotter just at this hole here. So today we're going to cross straight to the middle of the two main holes, straight up here. Let's go. That was Birdie Creek. Next up, we have Gunshot. Who's sending the Jeep in first? I think we are. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> So we've all decided to go down and check out Gunshot. So we'll go and see what it looks like. If it doesn't look passable, it might be easier if we didn't have trailers, but we just have to think of the trailers because no one wants to break anything. So let's go and see what Gunshot has to offer us this year. Go to the right, right. just crossed Gunshot, we actually made it through. Um, we checked out the tracks that we crossed last year. Now it wasn't as bad as last year, but it was still pretty gnarly, but everyone is stoked that we made it through. So heading along the Telegraph track, we've come across this grave here. Now this was uh, a guy called William Joseph Brown, but looks of things, I've just read the little plaque that they have here, he died from a heart attack. So he was due at uh, Bramwell Station by some people that he knew from there and he didn't end up turning up so the people ended up coming out and they found him and he was already confirmed dead unfortunately. So we've done gunshot, nailed it. Now we're just heading down to Cockatoo Creek. This creek's not too much of a bad one, it's just a bit rocky to cross. 
So let's see what Cockatoo Creek has to offer. Slow, slow. Slow, slow. Right hand down, ha ha ha, wait. You're going into a hole. Yeah. Keep over that, up that side, up the top. Okay, left hand now. So today we're still heading along the old telly track. Um, we've come up to Canal Creek. Now this is one of uh, the best camping spots along the telly track. Uh, right beside me here is an old tele sh telecom shed. Now that is one of our favourite spots to camp here. There is a few other campsites around but this one's the best. Let's go and see what this creek crossing has to offer us. She wasn't too bad this year. This is one of the pretty, a very pretty place here. Um, there is a lot of different ways that you can make your way across though. There's probably about half a dozen different exit points. The one we chose today was probably the easiest. So when you do come up to it, just pick a line and off you go. After Canal Creek, we have Sam Creek. So we're just going to pull up here and have a bite to eat. And one of the best swimming holes is down here. I'll show you in a second.
right, we've just had a swim in our favourite little swimming hole. Now we're just making our way down to the creek and we're going to go check out the crossing to see where we should cross is going to be best this year. So let's go and have a look at what it's got to offer us. there's quite a mud little pit. Struggled a little bit to get the wheels over a couple of times but we made it through. Hopefully the rest of everyone else gets through all right. So just stick to that left hand side of the track. When you come through there's quite a mud pit to your right hand side. Stick to the left hand side of the track and you'll be all right. And then when you come over that little rocky ledge there's another hole to your right. Again stick to the left hand side of that track. <laughs> Exactly the same spot, Trevor. <laughs> everybody <laughs> we're all through all right so Sam Creek is now ticked off the list next one up is mistake Creek let's see what she's got Okay, just come in. Here.
just did mistake creek it's quite a long crossing actually but it's all soft sand so you come down to quite a bit of a drop drop down header through and straight through the soft sand and back up the other side so not too bad just a little bit longer than the other ones we've been doing so next one up we have cannibal creek let's go Scott, could you move Beck's car up a little bit? Keep it going. Oh. Okay, try again. Okay, a bit more. Alright, we'll reverse it back around. Okay, uh, back, um, right hand down a little bit. Okay, come forward now. Go first or second again? Now, go, go, um, Go first. Get okay, right over the, as far as you can, over your right. Okay, get up it, up it, quick, quick.
Yep, get her moving. No, nah, go back. Right hand, uh, left hand down. Keep it going back, 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 back. Keep it going back. Now keep her over as far as you can to the right hand side. Okay. <laughs> we just did Cannibal Creek. She's a little bit of a hairy one on the other side. First time down wasn't too bad. Other side, it's a little bit, a little way too many holes in it. A little bit hung up a couple of times, but if you give it a little bit more, she'll get through fine. So next one up we have is Cypress. Now Cypress has a little log bridge that you have to cross. Let's go see how the logs are intact this year. Alrighty, we've just pulled up at Cypress. So this one here, we've got those little log bridges. The little log bridge, sorry. <laughs> um, she looks a little bit hairy, but we should be alright to get her across. She's a bit hairy, isn't she? We're going. Okay. Keep it going straight. It's nice and slow. Slow, slow. Keep it going. Very good. Okay, you're over. Hang on a second, woo woo woo. Okay, keep going. Um, right hand down a little bit. Had a loop. Okay, straighten her up. Nice and straight. That's good. Okay, you're over. Go back a little bit. Stop. Yeah, straight at that. That's good. Nice and slow. That's it. Straight at that. Good. Perfect. Okay, you're over. Right hand out a little bit. Okay, you're right on the edge. Very good. You're almost on the logs. You're over. Nobody's got bogged there before. Oh, I better put it in my range, eh? Alright, I'll tell
All right, we just did Cypress. Now, I will advise to not have your windows down because the crickety sound of the bridge isn't the nicest thing to hear while you're crossing it. But it was pretty easy. We had um, our guide guide us across, so we're all good. Next one up, we've got a Ford crossing. Now, this one we've been told from a few people we ran into across the track that it's pretty deep, so we're not gonna know until we get there. So we'll go and have a look, suss out how deep she is, and obviously we are gonna have to cross it because there's no going back from here. Alright everyone, so that one there was the one that's actually unnamed on the map. That one's called Ford Crossing. Um, that one usually is a really, really deep hole, but um, obviously we made it through alright this year. So, as I just told our crew behind us, that one was a Ford Crossing. Now on the map, all it has on there is a very deep hole, so we just hugged right hand side of it as right in the middle is where that deep hole is so we made it through all right she was easy next up is nolan's brook is that the one we're doing no isn't it it's over there sure? actually it's right over there we're doing that the far, furthest far one. one no the furthest one over there what yep so swing right around at the top here i'll go around this way okay this one? Yep. With the big bump? Yep. Why are we doing that one? We go have a look. Oh, then we go left, not over that right one. No. Oh, okay. Are we going out and having a look? Are we hopping out? Yep. up at Nolan Brooks. This is the crossing that we're going to be taking today. Let's go and have a look.
this spot behind me, we've got a swing set up for the big kids as well as the little ones. <laughs> Hi everybody! Let's go. Here comes the big kid. Come on big kid, let it rip. Yep. Oh, you got a couple of sharks coming Can out I behind go? you. Ready? No. You gotta catch it. I'm not catching. You gotta catch it. <laughs> you gotta catch it. <laughs> 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 So we smashed it through Nolan's this year. Now after Nolan Brook, you've got the road that'll head straight down to the Jardine River. Now this is the Jardine River that they used to cross many, many years ago. So as we're driving through right now, as you can see, just through the window here, we're driving through the swamplands. Now in the wet season, all this is usually underwater. So let's go and see and check out this Jardine River, hey? We're here, south of the Jardine River. Now this is the original crossing. Back in the day, I think I would like to have given this a go. Let's go out and have a look. Ready? Here we are. I'm standing right in the middle of the Jardine River. Kind of freaking out a little bit. But this is the official end of the telegraph tracks back in the day. They used to cross straight across here and straight over that way to the other side. Um, I definitely would like to give this a go, I think, but the current does run pretty strong. So this year there have been a few cars that have gone through, not with our crew, but hopefully next year she might be a little bit more shallow and I might be a little bit more confident about it. We've had an absolutely awesome trip this year and I cannot wait to get back up here next year. Let go your inhibitions. You're off on an adventure. Come share the Aussie spirit too. It's your land, your Australia. Come see Australia's wild side with off road adventures like you. Stone, marshy bars, to our sun beaten sand.